When signing up for RecDesk for the first time, you would just click on a create account, the create account button. Type in your name, your first, your last. You'll need to type in your phone number. And then type in an email address. Now, your email address should be one that you use, as this is where you're going to receive all of your invoices and confirmations in the future. When you click the Continue button, it's going to ask for a couple more questions. It's going to ask for your date of birth, for your gender, for your address. Some information may already be filled in for you if they're looking for you to live in a specific location. Or you could just come in here and change it to where you really are. Then you'll just need to type in your email address one more time. If on this screen, this is where you'd also be able to enter your emergency contact information, any notes, and then right here is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to create a login name and your password. Once you've created an account, you'll see this, this is going to be your profile. And then you need to click right here where it says add a household member to add the next member of your household. So this could be a spouse, children, anything of that nature. And again, it's going to ask for the date of birth, the gender, the address information is go and the email will automatically fill in from whoever the primary person on the account is. And that typically is the person who signs up first. You can change who the head of household is by just checking off this box. And then you can put specific information for emergency contact or general notes to your household member's account. And that is all you need to do to start creating your profile for RecDesk.